It's no secret that the real estate market is absolutely bonkers right now. I'm often asked if I think this is a bubble and whether or not I expect prices to decline in the near future. I don't think it's a bubble and I don't think that we're going to see significant price reductions anytime soon. And there are a couple different reasons for that. One is that we have a nationwide housing shortage. There simply aren't enough houses being built. During the last recession, when the demand for housing declined, tradespeople, the people that build the houses, went and got jobs somewhere else. And now that demand has increased again, there just aren't enough people available to build. Um, we just haven't been able to get caught up. And as a result, we have um, this huge shortage of homes being built. Um, the second uh, reason I don't think we're headed for um, prices are headed off a cliff is that during the foreclosure crisis um, that happened during the last recession, people were underwater in their homes. They owed more than their homes were actually worth. And that's because for a decade or more, lenders had been giving mortgage loans to basically anybody with a pulse. Um, no down payment loans were common. 80-20 loans were the norm. Not anymore. Lending guidelines are much tighter now. Down payments are commonplace. And as a result, homeowners have record amounts of equity in their homes. Yes, unemployment is still high, but if you're a homeowner and you've lost your job and you can't pay your mortgage and you're sitting on 200 grand in equity, you're not gonna let that house go into foreclosure. You're just gonna sell it and you're gonna walk away with $200,000. If I had a dime for every time a customer told me, you know, we're just gonna wait and see what happens. These prices can't last. We're gonna see um, prices decline. This isn't sustainable. I would have a pile of dimes so huge I would not be able to get out of my office. I wish prices would decline. I don't think that would be a bad thing. It would certainly open up home ownership to far more people. But if you are waiting for that to happen, I would encourage you to rethink that strategy. More often than not, when I see people wait, what actually happens is they get priced right out of the market. You know, they say that uh, hindsight is 2020. How many people wish they'd bought in Port Townsend or Seattle or San Francisco a decade ago or two decades ago? Don't be sitting here three or four years from now wishing you'd bought in 2021. My name is Emily Carol Ingram. I'm a mortgage loan specialist with New American Funding in Port Townsend, Washington.